Good afternoon, wherever you are around the world, watching on live, and welcome to the rain-soaked streets of Turin as the 99th Giro d'Italia finally comes of age and turns 21. It's the last of 21 stages, 163 kilometers from Cuneo to Turin, where we will see the coronation of Vincenzo Nibali in the pink jersey. Oh, here we go. Attacks from Etix Quickstep on the left-hand side of your screens there. That looks look to Verona? me to be like Gianluca Brambilla. Actually, there are some riders trying to bridge across. That looks to me like Tim Wellens. So it's a powerful breakaway group that's assembling itself away. Well, Brambilla and Wellens have hauled back Manuele Buaro, who is riding like a man possessed, and he's off again. I don't know what Buaro thinks he's achieving here, but uh, he's full of fight. And with 38.5 kilometers to go, he just wants to get rid of Wellens and Brambilla and get across to these two. It looks like these three are not too far from being caught right mm. now, but still a minute's lead to our two strong Dutchmen at the front. As Jos van Emden goes solo, Martin Chalingi is out of contention. He's been dropped after a huge turn on the front with his uh, compatriot, and Van Emden's going to have to do this all on his own. He goes Trent in. Is that Colbrelli there as well? Oh, well, Colbrelli latches onto the wheel of the white jersey. He was just blasting up this climb. That's the end of the ride for Jos van Emden. There is uh, the rider you were talking about, Matteo Trentini. He is there. Big crash from Colbrelli. Just about avoids it there, Bob Jungels, as he looks over his shoulder to see what's happened to the man from Bardiani CSF. Oh, cameraman on the side to somebody trying to take a photo. Well, the B is going out at this point. A moment's hesitation from the rest of the race, and uh, the Belgian is flying over this uh, perilous cobbled bridge before they line up into the finishing line. A long way to go, though, still. And the B will have to uh, just have the ride of his life to hold off this chase. Careful on this section. It is damp. It's dangerous. He turns left-handed now, and a long finishing funnel separating him from victory. Nippo Vini Fantini trying hard to get on terms with him. Is that Grosso? It might well be Grosso. Goes over the top. Damaged, bruised, bearing a scar on his left shoulder. And there's a reaction as well from Villa Triestina, southeast. They have Belletti battling hard to get on terms. But uh, Nippo Fantini having there. Sean Deby trying to get back on terms. Giacomo Nizzolo closing in the red jersey now. He has Modolo for company. Over to you, the sprinters. Finally! Finally, Giacomo Nizzolo delivers at the Giro d'Italia in chaotic circumstances, but it will matter not a jihad. He's done it. Disappeared, really, from the overall contention. Showed weakness on weakness. People questioning his entire career, really, and what it would hold from this moment on. And then two days in the Alps answered everybody's doubts. Maybe even his own, who knows? Because Vincenzo Nibali is back where he begot belongs winning the Giro d'Italia. But the news is that Giacomo Nuzzolo has been, we understand, officially disqualified from his stage win. And presumably, Dan, precisely for that infringement that you identified when we watched the replay, Sasha Modolo felt that he had changed his line. Vincenzo Nibali wins the Giro d'Italia. His advantage at the final finish line is just 52 seconds to Esteban Chavez with Alejandro Valverde in third place and Steven Kreisweik heartbreakingly relegated off the podium in fourth place. But the door finally opens and the crowd get what they want. Vincenzo Nibali now taking to the top step of the podium, about to pull on the Maglia Rosa definitively on the final stage for the second time in his illustrious career. He is the Maglia Rosa of the 99th edition of the Giro d'Italia. And who would say that this time next year we won't be watching him do it again when the Giro d'Italia turns 100. He's an exceptional rider, has cut a pretty unhappy, disconsolate figure most of the way round this tour of Italy. But when the high mountains beckoned, when the road passed up over 2,700 metres of altitude, that is when he came to life. He needed two stages to turn it round, and he dispensed with the opposition. And in the end, he won with something to spare.